to it, we often release a hidden hazard, the gas miners call fire damp. Its real name is methane. Methane is flammable and explosive when mixed with air. It can be ignited by the friction of the coal cutter's picks. Of course, the stringent safety precautions taken in British mines make an incident like this a remote possibility. We find methane above ground, too. It's the product of rotting vegetation in stagnant ponds. Here, we know it as marsh gas. Underground, the mine atmosphere has to be monitored continuously for the presence of methane. The gas has to be led away to the surface, safely. Here at Parkside, one of the biggest modern collieries in the Northwest, they're doing more than just that. The mining hazard is being turned into an asset. Because methane is a natural gas, high in energy content, there's an expanding and profitable market for it. The gas is pumped from the mine to the surface, where it's processed and stored. Much is burned as fuel for the collieries' boilers. But much more is exported through a seven-mile-long pipeline to one of Britain's major chemical plants. Here, nine and a half million therms a year are burned, the equivalent of 40,000 tons of coal. Methane is supplying a third of the factory's energy demand for steam raising, heating, and manufacturing processes. Methane takes its place beside North Sea gas and fuel oil in the boilers. Because methane is a product which would otherwise go to waste, it makes economic sense to use it. The plant is Britain's largest manufacturer of sodium and potassium silicates. They're used in a wide variety of industrial and chemical processes. The detergents in your washing machine are produced with the help of gas from the coal mines. Another northwestern industry using colliery methane is the century-old tile-making craft. Bersham Colliery, itself over a hundred years old, sends out three million therms a year. A thousand cubic feet a minute are pumped up from underground to reach the tile factory through a two-mile pipeline. Tile and brick making and the coal industry have long been partners. Now, methane joins traditional coal in providing the heat and power needed to process clay into ceramics replacing some 15,000 tons of coal.
The biggest factory to burn mine gas is at Stoke-on-Trent. Here, six million therms a year are taken from five local collieries to fuel a factory employing nearly 7,000 people, making tyres for Britain and for export to a hundred countries. This is the largest single factory in North Staffordshire and has been running on coal since it started up more than 50 years ago. Today, mine gas is firing two of the factory's boilers, with total conversion to methane a possibility. Methane is replacing 30,000 tonnes of coal a year. Again, the gas is used to produce high-pressure steam for heating the factory and curing the tyres. In industries all over Britain, methane is finding an expanding market. The range of tyres produced is enormous, covering motor car, truck, racing, motorcycle and bicycle treads, as well as tyres for special applications. Many of these heavy-duty truck tyres will be used back in the mining industry. So, the cycle is complete. Coal and mine gas providing the energy to make a product which in turn will help to generate more of the energy which industry cannot do without. Once a waste product, now an asset. 